What's up, guys? It's Shona here, and I'm with my friend Dom. Uh, I just finished subbing all of these scans thanks to uh, Ryuji TK for the translations. And yeah, let's let's start. It's a lot to go through. Yeah. So I mean, first look at it, you can see pretty cool cover. Has a decent amount of characters on it that I guess are guaranteed in the game, right? But I wonder how they like determine what characters would be on this. Is this like? I think they just pick the most popular characters by by poll or whatever, and then just put them like because these are all super characters. So I just assume they just take yeah. the most popular super characters and put them on the on the I'm, on the cover. I'm trying to draw a connection though. Like, okay, this is Ultra Blue Vegeta. This is Mastered Ultra Instant Goku. And then Jiren. Like, those three on the left make sense. And then it's just Broly here, for some reason. Well, because Broly's part of Super because of the, the movie. Well, I know, I know that, but I'm saying, like, what's the... <laughs> it's, like, kind of random, like, the placements, I mean. Like, I, there's no real connection between them. It's... Yeah, but yeah. It, it's uh, fan popularity, and then they just... Uh... Like, I, get what, I get what you're saying overall, because, like, like, it's, like, Super anime, and then you have Broly in the back. Yeah, so I'm saying, and then, I mean, Frieza kind of makes sense because Tournament of Power, but then you have Trunks, and then it's like, wait, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, this is the intro, complete with everything you love from the Sparking series, combined with all the new features of Zero. After 17 long years since Media released, a brand new entry in the series is almost here. Yeah, I mean, that is true. Want to go to the next page? Yeah, let's move. All right. So available on October 10th, PS5, Xbox Series X, and S, Steam. The Zero Bible is what they call the handbook, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, it's the, the Japanese guidebook for, yep. the, for the game. Containing info on over 180 characters. I'm assuming every character will have some type of guide, which is kind of useful, I guess, honestly, because you'll be able to see all the movesets readily if you get the, the yeah, Zero so, Bible. So the, mm -hmm. the uh, these like Bible books usually have like uh, character movesets, uh, their, the character renders and stuff. They're... Um, their power chart like the like you know the thing in jojo where they show like how strong they're in one area like it's like a hex oh yeah. yeah 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 the power chart yeah yes it's strategies for clearing stages i'm assuming that's story it has everything you need yeah. for victory including a code a code for in-game use full details on the game code you have bardock with final spirit cannon he's great at close combat you'll unlock the character and outfit go on future super kamehameha go on future super saiyan fierce combination he's great at close combat again and his special attack is powerful as an early unlock you can play him day one so yeah bardock looks pretty similar from t3 in terms of character design and uh i think this is the same super as t3 as well yeah um same with go future go on if you jump books 1815 yen, say $18 or something? No, no, it's it's because the yen's weak, so that's probably like $13, $14 or something. Right, okay, yeah. Um, let's see, you can, uh, so it's characters, you can also unlock the Z outfit for Bardock, you can also be unlocked normally through playing. So you get this outfit and the Z outfit for the digital code. Ability item, which is super sparking, under special conditions, you'll obtain a damage buff. So I think this is when you're in sparking mode, you'll gain a damage buff if you have this item. And you can get the item by using the code alongside the characters, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, be 1,000 steps ahead of the starting line. <laughs> Thousands crazy. But um, with the V-Jump book and in-game items, you'll have the greatest head start. Low-key, I mean... <laughs> if you know, you know. Check SNS in the official site for information on the secret character and more. It's basically like, to go to this QR code and then, uh, like, by the time the book, this book is out, like, the, the trailer that comes out tomorrow will be out and whatever. Mm -hmm. Package and download pre-order information. So you get the six characters, base, Super Saiyan 1, Blue Vegeta, and then base, Burly, Super Saiyan Burly, and Legendary Super Saiyan Burly. Early unlock for six characters, plus a secret playable character. Uh, I wonder if this is only on PS5 though, or did they just do that? No, it no, just no, uses image. That's a that's across the board, and the the secret character got leaked, but I won't yeah. say in case. I, I heard. <laughs> unlock Ojeda and Broly for the start. So secret fighter. Yep. Yeah. Uh, grab these sparking extras alongside the game. Yeah, it's a pre-order stuff. Uh, yeah, this is this 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 like old stuff. This like uh, like oh mm -hmm. you, like the different additions for the game and stuff. And, like, Fusion like, World card and the diorama. Yeah. Uh, okay. This is where it gets interesting. Yeah, Digital code is. inside. Accessory, the V-Jump, Design Aura, and Victory Power, which 
I don't know. I wonder, hmm. So is the victory power an item actually? I think that's the name of the item. So it might not be pay to win. Cause the V jump, okay, let's. The V jump December issue, October 21st, will have an accessory and ability item. You can't lose if you're cloaked in V with victory power. Your ultimate attacks do more damage and normal close combat attacks recover key on hit. I think that's the item that you get alongside V jump. I don't think you naturally just have that if you pre-order. You know what I mean? No, no, or no, if you it's, use a code. It's a code, you redeem it and the, I assume the capsule does this stuff. Okay. Yes. Oh yeah, so you have an accept because there's there's a mode where like you can like it, it, it looks like a Fortnite menu where you could change like costumes and accessories and stuff like that. The accessory is the V jump aura and then the victory power is the buff that um for the uh oh we didn't get there yet but yeah that's the 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 capsules the buff and then the the visual accessory this accessory yeah. yeah yeah i don't know it depends if um i think it could be pay to win though if, if this item turns out to be op but i don't know if they're gonna have a custom ranked in this game or if it's just gonna be in player matches or what that's the the question yeah they didn't make that clear don't miss the next issue all right future design or yeah oh wait hold next on. Did, we, did, oh. did you uh did you read the bottom lane? Oh yeah, you can't lose it. Oh yeah, you did read this already. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Super Warriors, got Super Saiyan for Gogeta Render. Use items to make your very own Super Warrior. So yeah, this is the item customization we had in T3 and other DBZ games. In the shop, you'll find items to increase abilities of fighters, as well as costumes to change their appearance. You can use these to customize your very own Super Warrior. Pretty similar to other Dragon Ball games. You can change their costumes. Looks like there's a Halo available here. That's the V accessory, I'm assuming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is early, mid, late. <laughs> it looks like a Omen Ultra Instinct. I don't know what the other one is, but um, maybe suit base super. Um, and then these are the capsule items, I guess you can put on seven. Yeah. And then these are the. This is probably yeah combat page. This is the uh, accessory page, and some other stuff that yeah, I can't really like determine. Probably uh, the the one where his hand is. That's probably emotes. No oh, facts. Yeah. Stuff like that. Um, customize, yeah. And then Shenron and Purunga are here as well. <laughs> and then you got a main menu here. Um, finishing missions and VS battles offer a chance to earn Dragon Balls as a reward. Once you collect all seven, you'll be able to meet Shenron. Wishes will depend on which dragon you meet. So I don't know if it's RNG. Just <laughs> or it looks like you can meet either one depending on which yeah, Dragon Balls you have. Which ones you have, right? Because uh, it looks like. I assume through missions, uh, whatever whatever modes allow you to unlock these Dragon Balls. But I I wouldn't be surprised if it's like two different modes where you can get certain Dragon Balls. Yeah, I think so too. Um, maybe you get like Perunga ones from VS Battles and then Shenron ones from missions, etc. And, and if it's like, one. there's a, a no, oh yeah, the uh, super dra yeah the super Shenron. Um. I wonder if it's just going to give costumes and ability items. I think the older games were like that. Yeah, probably money, costumes, abilities, maybe some characters. Yeah. All right. And then the next page. Got a bunch of stuff here. Ultimate Battle Returns in Zero. Check out the battle video. I think that means the trailer, right? Yeah. Freely recreate recreate all the action from GT with these special attacks. Gigantic Blaze and Shenra GT. Block your opponent's attacks, then use your special attack to build up damage. He has a clever play style. I never, that, I, that that move. Uh, I mean, even if it hits, like you're, like for, from memory, like you're stuck in that animation for a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, it has a lot of end lag. Negative karma ball. He's the perfect finality for GT. With overwhelming attack power, with powerful close range attacks and quick e blast, he'll make any opponent feel despair. Learn how to play zero. Open the special book now. So I'm assuming that's referring to the handbook. Yep. Great ape baby. After becoming an ape, his attack power skyrockets. Overwhelm opponent up close, then finish him off with your super. If only it was that easy, Bandai. Uh, <laughs> final flash. It's uh, super right out of it. <laughs> yeah, just run at them and use your super. <laughs> uh, and then he got Super Baby 2. After taking over Vegeta, he uses his special attacks, gain access to wide range moves to attack from a distance, watch all the action for the warriors. Scan the QR code here. That probably leads you to their website, right? It leads you to like their video playlist for. for oh, okay. Did um, where it was Baby and uh, Omega Shenron uh, decent in T3? I don't remember. Yeah, they were. They were both these. <laughs> I think Super Baby was actually the best grade ape. Grade A Baby was the best one. I had some tech. Um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta obviously was really good. Ultimate Warrior is here with quick close range attacks and counters. And counters? I'm missing something? What counters is he have? Oh, like, um, 
Uh, I think he had a counter. Into he had a rush attack and his super. Unless I'm dumb. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. Hey, do they mean like Sonic Sway? That's a universal thing, though. Like, I don't know. Because that's what they showed in the trailer, was the uh, Sonic Sway. Or maybe they added a counter in this game for him. That or maybe they're saying it like with clo quick close range attacks and counters and as powerful special attacks, comma, you could easily defeat opponents. So maybe it's saying like if you play well, you'll win. Like, I don't know. Oh, probably. <laughs> maybe it's like that. And then he's Super Saiyan for Goku. Most powerful form obtained in GT. Close in with instant transmission and then get dashed around and then killed. No, just kidding. Uh, close in with instant transmission and then defeat your foes with lightning fast attacks. Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 with powerful blast attacks. He can apply pressure from a distance. If they get too close, blow them away with explosive wave. Final shine attack. Yep, yep, yep. And then you got Super Oob. Goku's number one student enters. He's attacks that immobilize opponents and control the battle. Yeah, he had... Um, Hey, one of his supers that was a stun, I think, and uh, I think his blast one might also be a super. I could be wrong on that. Use your after image technique to avoid attacks. Topi, your special attacks sees your partner. Gil, launch an explosive attack. Yeah, so pretty much similar stuff from T3. Yeah. Finally, that ultimate warrior is revealed. On the next page, we'll s learn about the GT paddles once again. Okay, that's yeah. GT warriors arrive. Super warriors entered the battle. And this is the dates and the consoles it's on. Yeah, yeah. all the generic stuff. All right, what's, what's next? What do we have? Stunning flight techniques, 3D battles. Experience BD action, or <laughs> experience DB action and high speeds. You can easily recreate DB style battles with simple controls, quickly close in on your opponent. Punching and blasting or practice up in the super training mode. It's like a tutorial, but it may be the most important mode. Oh, like, um, like T3, like it had a, um, well, I guess yeah, it had the a, blast too. Like, like it every had drag mode. mode, and then it, yeah, yeah and, and it just had a set of things that you, you could learn. While you mm -hmm. uh, assault vanish. Yeah, that's the down circle. Approach your opponent at high speeds. Once you get in, you can unleash combos. Basics your offense. Approach your opponent quickly and strike. This is energy, but allows you to close in and connect combos. Revenge counter. Yeah, revenge counter. I don't know about about revenge counter, man. There's just so much counterplay to it. It uses two key. Uh, Two blast stocks. I don't know. You don't have to just use take attacks. Even when you're being attacked, you can counter. Based on the distance, your counter attack options may vary. Yeah, I think that's referring to to supers and stuff. How you can deflect them with the revenge counter. Could be wrong though. Um, but yeah, revenge counter has a lot of counter play. You can um, you can grand strike it, which is the down plus triangle slash Y input on a controller, um, and just go straight through it. You can assault vanish through revenge counter using your key and in exchange for their blast stocks you can step in you can sidestep you can there's another you can z counter it as well um i think you can explosive wave it too so those are the those are the ones i can think of right now. after image maybe as well those are the ones i can think of right now um but yeah it's it's looking pretty bad for it but we'll see uh how it goes when people start playing assault vanish is really good though it, it beats z counter for some reason so if someone Z counters your move and you input a salt vanish, it, it goes through them. I, I think I went over that in another video. We had a clip of it. Um, yeah, reflect key blasts attacks with super perception. This uses energy. We can take the super perception stance and deal with incoming key blasts. You deflect them or even erase them. So that's the uh, the the new. Uh, it's it's in raging blast. Circle like triangle. The deflect the, the beam deflect the, the Yeah, it's it's the input is circle triangle. There was a name for it in T three as well. Um it's when you hold your stance, but it becomes super perception once you have blast docks, I believe. Um, I don't think I don't think T three was able to like deflect beam. No, you couldn't. There was a there was the counter stance, which is circle triangle. But now that's be, that became perception. And in this game there's super perception, which uses energy. They yeah, call that energy, this, but it's it's yeah. basically useless like a taunt in, in this game. Like to, to deflect the beam and, and use a blast stocks for that. I, that yeah, I feel like you're better off just blocking it or dodging it 99% of the time. It's not that much chip. Maybe there's some weird use case with it though that we don't know about. That's all I can really think of. Freely fire around, battle how you want. Utilize flight to navigate the map, dive underwater, and battle it out on massive stages with changing weather conditions. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero will allow you to recreate. <laughs> this is rec they like to use the word recreate. The Dragon Ball like battles you've always wanted. They want you to be immersed. It's all about the immersion. A mega hit series since 2005. Dragon Ball Sparking first released in 2005. Allowed players to control a wide range of fighters with free movement within the 3D environments. Neo released in 2006, followed by Meteor in 2007. 
They're still up to this day. Wow, shout out to them for actually acknowledging that. After 17 years, Zero is finally here. Okay. Pretty good stuff. Ooh, now we got a lot of stuff. This the battles come together. Mm -hmm. Create your very own battles in the custom battle mode. Character stages, BGM, reversal state scenes, and more. Make your very own battle in edit mode. You can also share your creations with the world library. Okay, this is a bunch of like casual player stuff, looks like, which is good. Um, it looks like you can kind of create your own battle here by... Yeah, you, make, you can make your own what-ifs. You can make your own scenarios. Um, you can have them... Uh... Uh, like, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, like it's like a Tenkaichi 3 Raging Blast like cutscene maker with like, and you can set it so that like if you get if you get the opponent down like to a certain percentage of health, like it'll activate like a scene or something. Mm. Okay. Um Yeah, so I mean I think it's more like you have pretty much free full freedom with this it looks like. In terms of what you can make. I don't know how the cutscenes are going to work. That'll be interesting to see what people do. It's probably going to be some people really trying hard to make cool stuff with that. It'll be interesting to see what people make. Yeah. Unlock characters in extra battle and shop. Multiple fighters can also be unlocked outside of episode battles. That's what extra battle and the shop are for. So, I don't know what extra battle means. Um, extra Look, battle Eva. is... is, is um, the, I think it's the preset... Um, custom stories that the developers made and then edit mode you make your own pretty sure okay you know enjoy allows you to enjoy various situations if for battle along with if battles the first time you clear a battle you get items and characters as rewards okay interesting so that's probably how you get these certain characters i guess that's omen goku goku gt kid goku majin vegeta super saiyan 1 gogeta video mecha frieza and cell jr uh, yeah okay I don't know. There looks like there's a good amount to be unlocked there too. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Creating the legend of these super warriors. Experience legend in episode battle. Is this the main story? Yeah. Episode okay. You start. Main story. Start with Goku following the history of eight super warriors through the story mode. You should aim to clear this mode first. Kind of have to unlock characters. So, as you progress through board like or through board game like map, you'll experience the story based on where the super warriors land. Change your point of view during events. Unlock an if route if you overcome Frieza Z second form. Oh, interesting. So if you win, you get the if route. Cool. That's That'll be fun to play with. The future Trunks Legend 2. Relive the struggle of the story. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of if routes if you win battles that you're not supposed yeah, to win. The, the first one, like for Raditz, it's a... Uh, um, uh, the, I think the other alternative was that uh, you had like... I think like Roshi and like Krillin or whatever mm -hmm. fight uh fight Raditz and they end up beating him without mm -hmm. having anyone die. Mm. That's pretty dope. The future Trunks Legend 2, relive the struggle of this story. In some events you'll be able to change your POV with characters in the scene. That's cool. So you can instead of being Piccolo, you can be Vegeta and swap out, I'm assuming. Yeah. No, like cam like camera wise, so like you mm -hmm. can you can either see from Piccolo's perspective where he's charging his uh, special beam cannon. Or you can see it from uh, Raditz's perspective where he's being held hostage, basically. Yeah, that's dope. New outcomes appear in an if route. For example, if Krillin joins you in the fight against Raditz instead of Piccolo, you can enjoy new outcomes in this row. So why would Krillin join you instead of Piccolo? Um, uh, I think they're all together in that scene where like his, where like uh, Raditz kidnaps Gohan and stuff. And then like the if here is if if krillin decides like you know what i'm not gonna stay i'm gonna go with goku so then if krillin goes then piccolo stays behind it like they just switch places but how do you gonna get the if uh cutscene i'm assuming if well it says these will appear if you clear the conditions without lowering the difficulty so oh, okay got it. yeah yeah ask, maybe that's uh, the way i the way i saw like uh some of like the youtubers play when they when they played the summer games uh demo like as the cutscene was playing i guess by default it was gonna give them the what if choice and like after like uh raditz gives his spiel like it tells you in the end like oh do you want do you want yeah. to follow or do you want like oh, okay so it's kind of like the storm three thing where you get to choose nice yeah, exactly special battle unlock characters certain stages will unlock characters as a reward you can use them in battle okay yeah so you get yajirobe from this custom battle edit parts goku so that's for the customization stuff we learned about here and legend saiyan saga events image set that you can probably also utilize there 
Okay, dope. And this is the last page. I think so. Dream battles bursting with excitement. The world tournament champion clashes with the universe. 11's greatest warrior. Yeah, okay. Your dream battles become reality thanks to an unbelievable number of warriors. Get revenge in that battle. We briefly touched on this before, but the biggest feel of this game is that feeling of, wait, he's in this game too? Enjoy the ultimate DB matchups. Even a normal Frieza soldier. Oh, so this guy's in the game. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, not happy about seeing that. Why? Because... Wasted we, slot? Yeah. But we got that skilled swordsman too. <laughs> I'm fine with him being in there. Just like, we do not need this Frieza soldier. Got, <laughs> Apple already. I didn't know he was in. Enjoy battles between giant warriors. Now I'm good. Enjoy local battles in Rosat. In the Rosat, you can enjoy local battles even with one console and copy of the game. It's split screen, it looks like. You guys are welcome, by the way, for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me correct. Yeah. So it wasn't Apple. It was um, uh, Kui. Like, Not that bot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like Lord Frieza. Hey, this split screen looks exactly like T3. Kind of crazy. I actually didn't even... Why, bro, is it that hard to make it a vertical split screen? It's so much better than horizontal. Uh, I don't know why the reason for it is. I'm not sure. I couldn't even tell you. Build teams have up to five. Okay. So it's like T3. Use your very own team in a dream battle. Create a team of five and take on players from around the world. Strong warriors have a high cost, so they need to balance your team. Okay. It looks like DP is staying the same. Looks like these four fit on a team. I'm not sure if that's the max, though. You got Kid, go, or you got Goten, Trunks, Kefla, and uh, Kalifa. Confused in certain characters are together. Um, pairing certain characters on the same team allow you to fuse them in battle. Make sure to check some characters as Goku and Vegeta have various differences. Uh, Goku and Vegeta and fuse into Vegeta. Feels great landing this in battle. You can pick between standard and classic. For sparking fans, we've added a classic control style to match the older titles. Yeah, for, okay. for the most part. Hopefully they let us edit some of this stuff. If we can't edit this, then if this is how it looks in game and you can't edit it, then uh, unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like DP is staying relatively similar though too. They're probably even copy paste numbers. How that'd much be, they're copy pasting. That'd be funny. Yeah. But yeah, this is it, I think. All right. Well, th thanks for tuning in this long, and uh, hope you guys hope you guys enjoy the scans. There's a lot to go over. Feel free to rewind and like pause at some moments if there's some things that you want to see more in detail. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.